you doing? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you. Now Thanks. then, all, all, all the blokes at BCB are really jealous of, uh, for you at the moment, uh, Bobby, because uh, Laura said, who have we got on today's works work? I said, well, it's the finals of Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. We've got Bobby from the Prash Shed, and she says, oh, Bobby, he's lovely. <laughs> 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 but what's it like being a heartthrob, overnight heartthrob? Oh, uh, mate, I don't know about that. I'm, uh, I'm certainly impressed about all the impression we're getting with the restaurant, but the heart flop's all new to me. I think I'll learn how to deal with it. You're going to laugh, <laughs> <laughs> So just tell us a little bit about Prashad, then. For those people who, I don't know, have been on another planet for the past few weeks, tell us a bit about the restaurant. Uh, a small family-run uh, restaurant uh, specialising in vegetarian cuisine. Uh, uh, we are... We, we, our origins are from Gujarat, North India, uh, and the restaurant offers you uh, Gujarati, Punjabi, and South Indian cuisine. Uh, what else can I tell you? I can tell you the chef, uh, lucky for me, my mum and my wife. <laughs> uh, although you think I'm a heart heartthrob, I figure I'm going to be quite a fat guy for the, uh, <laughs> for the future. Well, that's just uh, it's, it's an endorsement of the quality of the food, Bobby. That's what it is. That's what, well, exactly. Yeah, I, can't, no. I can't really. You can't do anything else, can I? We've both been watching this over the last few weeks, and yeah. we're a little bit biased, but we still stand by the fact that we think uh, in the series so far, Prashad has got, has got the best overall comments and has been presented in the best light amongst all the restaurants. Would you agree with that on, on what you've seen so far? We feel, I mean, we feel we're doing very well. Uh, you know, I uh, certainly feel that uh, being vegetarian, some of the fears we had at the beginning for the Carnivore King, uh, you know, we felt, uh, we felt that we were about to get absolutely slaughtered um, and, uh, you know, uh, in fact, it's completely worked uh, in our favour. You know, uh, there's never been a, a time in a competition where we've actually felt that uh, being vegetarian or offering a certain type of cuisine, I'm sure every other contestant, contestant will tell you the same. It's a very, very, very fair, but yet yeah, very challenging competition. I think our Mystery Diner performance um, definitely sets us apart yeah. from most. Yeah. Uh, I because, think we were the only... Yeah. Yeah. You didn't threaten to call the police, Bobby. That was the key. <laughs> that was the key. You, you know, if someone wanted to change a meal or, or try another drink, it was like, well, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we can do that. It wasn't like, right, phone up the Rosas, 999, exactly. you're out. <laughs> Just tell but us. Yeah, but I phoned up my local police and told me to behave myself, really. <laughs> yeah, you're a known suspect. Um, exactly. Just tell us a little bit about the decision to enter then. Who, who saw the competition and why did you go for it? Well, we didn't. We didn't see it, and we would never have gone for it. I mean, just the whole fear around him and his mm. opinions on vegetarian food would have kept us far away. Uh, it was actually our customers, just like every other contestant in the show. Uh, the initial uh, way to get into this competition is your customers re are recommending you or reviewing you and putting you forward. And the number that you get and maybe the passion in which these, uh, these reviews are written kind of bring you to the fore, after which you have many, many assessments prior to being selected for TV. Mm. Now so then, thank you very much to all my customers. Yeah. Absolutely, well done to them. Now then, when uh, Gordon's uh, laying into uh, some of the chefs or some of the front of house, he yeah. tells them to grow a pair of cojones. Uh, <laughs> but he's not actually asked you to grow any, so uh, he, he, mu he must be pretty impressed by yours. What do you reckon? I reckon, I reckon that, well, I can add that to my heartthrob qualities then, shall I? <laughs> yeah, I think Absolutely. you should. What, what's he like? I mean, you mentioned that you were kind of daunted by the prospect of doing this and, and being with him. What's he actually like then in person? Is it all for show? Is it all, is all the swearing and all that stuff just for telly? Yeah, no, I mean, the swearing and, uh, and, and you know, he, he seems to always have his foot on the accelerator revving at 7,000 revs, uh, <laughs> and that is very much the case, even off camera. He's very, very, very sort of, he can't stand still, completely, you know, uh, um, almost. It's like uh, everything is perfect all the time, uh, but out behind, behind, behind the scenes, uh, he's much more of a sort of you know friendlier, down to earth, uh, genuine, family orientated, really full of good advice. Uh, quite respectful of the ladies uh, in terms of my mum and my uh, and my wife, you know. Um, but on camera, uh, once he gets going, you know, I think you'll see it in the show tonight as well. Once he gets going, wherever he walks, everybody runs, um, almost almost pretending to be busy so we don't catch uh, his eye so he can come and give us a kick in. <laughs> no, that, 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 that's a good play, is that? Now, uh, Laura's mentioned earlier on the show that she's a big Prashad fan, and uh, quite a few of us uh, from BCB pop down from time to time. Yeah. Uh, a group of friends tried to phone up uh, a couple of weeks ago and you were chocker block so presumably bookings have gone through the roof what, what what's Booking the waiting out. list like and uh, what celebs have you had contacting you well what, as, uh, what we've managed to do is we've opened the second part which is only a little bit more seating we've increased it by another 18 seats is that called and, uh, outdoors is that called the pavement <laughs> <laughs> that 
what's called the Old Delhi, yeah, uh, yeah. which is the building next door. So basically, uh, what we're finding now is that we are able to accommodate. What we do is a certain part of the restaurant is on bookings, and that's running at about four to five weeks in advance. And the other element, the other additional seating, we don't book. So it's first come, first seated. It gives a bit of flexibility and allows us to sort of at least 80, 20 minutes, four hours, five hours. Well, no, we wouldn't ever say four hours, but, you know, 20 <laughs> minutes. Um, you know, half an hour, you can have a seat. We have a little lounge across the road where you can wait. So uh, uh, the show, after the first sort of impact of the show, the busyness we're able to deal with, we're kind of worried as of tonight, though, because uh, I'm sure the phone lines are going to go on fire again, and we're not really sure. We may have to do the pavement thing. Who knows? <laughs> Could that be a sneaky clue to how you're going to get on? We'll have to tune in tonight uh, at <laughs> 9 o'clock to find out. Now, just before we let you go, Bobby, uh, you're joining us again on Drive Time at 4 o'clock, so we'll look I forward am, to yeah. hearing you on Drive tonight. So uh, tell me, how many people will be in the, in the studios at Drive Time for, the, for me to bring some samples? Well, no, you said that. No, there's evening. no one. They're all here now. <laughs> you, you need to come in now. I think breakfast is the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really looking forward to chatting to you tonight uh, and watching you on the telly at nine o'clock. But just before we let you go, Bobby, just do a bit of name dropping. What, what, what's the biggest showbiz gig that you've got today, apart from being on BCB? Do a bit of name dropping. Uh, the biggest showbiz gig, uh, to be honest with you, we're, we're waiting for the, co the company who deals with all that. They don't tell me everything. Uh, uh, we've, got to, we've got somebody who looks after all of you've that. You've got management now, have you, darling? We do have to get to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody will tell me when that where I need to be and when I need to be there Great uh, stuff. at some point today. Well, lovely. Look, so much luck. We've got our fingers and toes crossed for you. We really are rooting for you. We're really Thank proud you. to have a restaurant like yours in the semis. Brilliant. Speak Thank to you. Thanks very much. Take All care. Right, take okay. care. Bye-bye.